What's up guys, Rich Gamer 997 here tonight. We're back on MV The Show 21. If you guys enjoyed this video, we really appreciate it. If you drop a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Let's play The Show 21. As you can see, we're in the lead. Washington is in second place. Chris Archer is on the mount. 12 and 7 record, 2.94 ERA. We have three great pitchers on this team. Sometimes we just don't give them run support, and that's why they lose. His ERA was one point something, and we just didn't give him no run support in the last couple of games, and he lost. And that's why. Fly ball out to straightaway center. O'Neill is there, two gone. And we get number 30 home run in this series. I'm hoping so. From the belt, the pitch. Flying toward right center. And that's in the outfield for one out here. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from Oh, damn it. I'm trying to be greedy. <laughs> trying to be greedy. And they should have slide, but he fucking kept going. This guy loves hitting right-handed against left-handed pitching. Ooh, got me on that slider way out in front of it. Pull the string on that one. And that bad boy. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Giving chases Wobles. He tracks oh. it down and makes the play to record the second out. So the next to bat will be Richard O'Neill. A hit in two tries so far. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Robles is in pursuit. He oh, come down, on. What the hell is up with all this warning track power and shit, man? Here's Starlin Castro. Now that second base. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. O'Neill is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Bottom of the inning now, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Richard O'Neill. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. He pulls this one into right. Packer is there, one away. Bullshit. That's one of those tough luck outs that'll drive you. It's like you gotta fucking learn when to swing on this fucking game. Because you, it's either you're a fucking early or you're right. You just, you're good swinging or you're late. And I don't know, a mighty go do it. Every time he, well, he plays the game like it's his life. Well, because that's how he makes money. It's his job. So he's good at friggin' just getting these perfect pitches, man. I've never hit a fucking pitch on this game. Come close to it. There is rain in the area, but we've been given the go-ahead to get this one started. Today, we've got a contest out of the National League East between the Washington Nationals and the Philadelphia Phillies. Three. 
ready now is Richard O'Neill. First shot for him here. And with the season winding down, he's closing in on a lead batting title. Now a ball lined hard toward deep right field. Eaton wow. is there and he'll bring this one in. That's crazy. With the fucking wind blowing in, where's the wind blowing? It sucks that you can't even hit a ball to the fucking wall. Robles digging in now. <coughs> you should check out his righty lefty splits. No surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. Like you think as as you improve your guy and he gets better, he'll do better, but it's not. Like no matter what you give to your guy, he just stays the same. Stepping in is Richard O'Neill as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. I'm so impressed with him and his ability to hit from both sides of the dish. I mean, we've all seen guys that do it, but really, they usually struggle from one side of the plate or the other. Not him, though. He's a true switch hitter who has a lot of success from either side of the box. Next to dig in, Alec Bowman. He flew out in his last A.B. One count. Here's the pitch. Now a bunt attempt here. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Oh, no, what's up with the bunt? Well, I guess it's better than hitting to a double play. It'll be Richard O'Neill. One for two on his line so far in the game. Swing at a hard Oh, line that's right to center field. field. See? Yeah, as long as you get it in the green, it just missed. Even if I think even if you hit it a perfect, perfect ball, it would still go to center field and it would be out. Stepping in once again is Richard O'Neill. I got underneath that one. Robles waits on it. Right back to Robles center field. And the inning is over. So I either got to swing early or swing late. Sometimes you get you'll hit the ball good and get a hit, but most of the time you hit the ball good, it's an out. Four to three, the final tally today. The Phils wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Live from Philadelphia, all set for baseball from the home of the Phillies, Citizens Bank Park. Today. Plate here is Richard O'Neill. First shot for him here. And with the season winding down, he's closing in on a loop batting title. Launched to right field and deep. Eaton going back. Out of here. Number 30, baby. It's about time. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. And even 30 home runs on the year. And the Phillies grab a one to nothing lead. It's a long season with a lot of peaks and valleys, but he's getting hot here in September. Yeah, waited on that one to come in. His team, as things crank up in October, we'll see if he can stay hot when it matters the most. So now here is Luis Garcia over one for him here in this one. Luis Garcia. Swing and oh my! Hit him with the high. He tied it up. Pen. 
solo shot to right center. And even 20 home runs for him now thus far. And as a result, the Nationals are back even at one run apiece. When you're facing an elite starter, you know runs are going to be three, three, Riding in now for the Nats, Miguel Rojas grounded out in his last at bat. Oh, yeah, but I expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll to. O'Neill will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. So two are gone now in the Nationals. Tucker Barnhart is up to bat. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Lifted into center field. He's under it, and that ends the inning. Start in this one after launching a homer his first time up. Well, Matty, we know he's got the timing on the fastball locked in. That's what he got a hold of on that home run in the previous at bat. You do not come off the heater. Have oh. the of the off speed, but stay good thing right in the wheelhouse. Good swing timing. Think of anything else when you're playing baseball. Just got to focus on baseball. <laughs> so here's the cleanup for Richard O'Neill. He bounced out last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Pulled toward right center field. After it is eaten, he gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. <laughs> Fucking eaten. Josh Bell, the next to hit. 0 for 3 to this point. They're still gonna take this sweep. Gonna take this sweep in and go home to cry like little girls. Cause they're about to get swept. Luke Johnson. Next to stand in is Tucker Barnhart, singled in his last at bat. Yeah, they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. High in the air out to center field. O'Neill is right there, one down. Hold, hold. Next, here is Luis Garcia, runner in scoring position with Sukhan. Garcia. And this ball swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. He brings it in, and the Phillies win the fourth consecutive victory here as this ball game is over. Yeah, that's the way you want to finish a three-game home series. 
breaking out the brooms and sweeping the other guys. Breaking out the brooms and sweeping them home. Final score this afternoon. Philadelphia blasted five home runs in route to leaving a trail of dust. Records the victory, his 13th of the year, as he turns in eight strong innings of work. I mean, we've been able to see what he's doing as a two-way player, and he's quickly becoming one of the biggest names in the sport. I seem to remember a conversation. You're smiling because you know it's true. That we had. Well, guys, that's going to do it for me tonight. If you guys enjoyed this video, go to death. Make sure to drop a like on it. If you love your moms, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Remember, stay safe. Wash your hands. Wear your mask if you choose to. But most important, be kind to each other. Have a wonderful night. Peace.